I mean, is this the most epic date night or is this just another day in the life? Epic date night. I mean, I haven't, I was just saying to my publicist, like we haven't, I haven't been out on a major red carpet in a while. So it's nice. Yeah. You guys look stunning together. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about the Arthur Ashe Courage Award. Of course, you're a part of uh, the, the presentation video, from what I understand, for Vitaly, correct? Yes. Uh, I mean, I, I had no idea. I wasn't thinking about this. To be honest with you, last couple of months were a little hectic, so kind of the, the ESPYs came up. Usually, I'm a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a guy, I'm a fan of sports. This is my Oscars, but I sort of like it crept up on me, and, and I got this... Uh, Met, you know this request I was like wait no first of all is the perfect candidate and a person to be awarded this award mm -hmm. they're talking about courage right uh, this is an athlete I've seen that country when war went down and, and everything started there were a lot of people that left you know and took their did not take their time uh, there were people that belonged to office positions that were not did not find themselves to be that courageous um, Vitaly also represents a different country. You know, he has opportunities to, let's call it that, flee. Uh, he stood his ground. He's representing, he's a mayor of a, of, a, of a Kiev, not a town, not just any city. And so for him to be the leader that he is and to translate into a politician the same way that he was a boxer, because that was what people wanted to see from someone like him, right? When that happened, and it is happening, it was an incredible uh, sight to see. Uh, he's the right person for the job. He was the right champion that we had in us in, in sport of boxing. And um, again, I'm getting goosebumps, but I, I feel like it's the right person. Absolutely. And uh, you obviously documented um, your journey to leaving Ukraine, getting to Poland. Um, I'm curious to know, what would you say to the folks listening at home as this continues to develop? This is a situation that is still very much as dire as it was when it first started breaking news. What do you hope people understanding from the comfort and safety of their homes about what's happening in Ukraine? Uh, someone somewhere is paying for our comfort and safety. And I think that that the the Ukraine and what it's representing, you know, is, uh, you know, 100 years from now is going to be a historic event that represented something. It represented a fight for freedom to choose, for freedom to, you know, be a democratic nation, uh, for freedom to be a certain type of community, want to be a part of others. And, uh, you know, from the side of the aggressor, uh, in, this, in this case, is the, is the Putin's dream of a segregated continent or, or, or that part of the world of sort of like, you know, going backwards on some of the relations that were developed over the last couple of decades of us coming together over social media, over, you know, some, some you know, things that we were able to do to, for the world to become smaller. So, you know, the world is so small today. If Ukraine does not stand the ground, uh, it will come to our shores. And that's what I'm afraid of as someone who witnessed what it's like when it's not on your TV. So that's, you know, there's nothing more for me to say other than this because it is live going on somewhere right now. So poignant and, and so true. On a much lighter note here, obviously we're celebrating excellence in sports tonight. Uh, you two absolutely stunning celebrating together with us. I'm curious to know how excited you also are to be celebrating being an aunt and an uncle soon. Yeah. Val told us the baby's on the way. So excited. When we heard the news, it was like we were waiting for this for so long. They've wanted it for so long and we're just so happy for them to embark on this new journey. And it's really like a huge new chapter. So it's going to be very cool for them to go through that and for us to be auntie and uncle. How excited are you to be an uncle? I, that's, I was going to say, that, that I'm going to stick with that sound bite. That's what I'm looking forward to. I want to be an uncle. I want him to feel what it's like when I was in, 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 in a position where he would just show up, dangle him a little yeah. bit, put him down, yeah. take a selfie, spend 40 minutes editing the picture, and then leaving and calling it like, oh, spend time with my nephew. Yay. <laughs> I'm, I can't you wait. You're so calling him out right now. I'm going to call him out. Call him call out. Him. That's brotherly love. I've got two brothers, and I live to call him out. Uh, we got to get into your fashion really quickly here. Break down this stunning dress for me. What was the inspiration? Because you are looking so divine. Um, thank you so much. I honestly never thought, because I was on Dancing with the Stars for so long, like 
we always wear sequins and I, this was not my first choice but no no I mean it was my first choice when I put it on but when I looked at the rack I was like oh no I'm not doing sequins you know I those those days are gone but no this felt right and it felt really you know nice for tonight Great, and really quickly here, this is a really high profile date night. What does your average date night at home look like? Like when you guys are just doing your thing, Max and Peter, what's it like? Um, what is it? Just like oh, literally last. That was a knowing glance. What is that? Glance? No, <laughs> I was just like. I was like, you know, we, I, we, this this is not us nowadays. You know, nowadays I have three choices of sweatpants. Yeah. And okay. one pair of sweats shorts it, it's always last minute it's not like we plan anything it's just like oh hey do you want to go to the, the local cafe to grab some dinner it's like no but now but we we're enjoying again life is hectic yeah. things have happened perspectives presented themselves and so nowadays you know we fly around we land here where we live we go out to the beach and we enjoy the sunset yeah. and to be honest with you i don't feel old saying that i feel like we all need a little bit of that have fun in there tonight. It was so great to talk with you.